awesome. How do you do today? Shut up, bitch. Look. Some of my favourite people in the entire universe are over the age of 70. Now, these are what we are known as old people. People who have old age. Makes sense. They might be 60, 70, 80. You know, they might not be all there in the air, in their hair department. They might not be all there in terms of the intellectual p department. Some of them pretend that they, you know, they're really clever and they're really, you know, still on the ball. But really, they're as, they're as clever as a baby who can't speak yet. But my favourite people in the world, my grandma and my nan, they are obviously old people. People. They are your your parents' parents, and you know you love them very much. You th you want them to be happy. Take care of them. You look after them. You do stuff you wouldn't even dream of doing for other people because you love them. They are so kind, loving, or are they? No, they are. But some are absolute bastards, absolute divas. Look at this old man film. I'm an old man. I'm an old man, man. I'm an old man. So they clearly think old people are just terrorist killers or something like that. I don't know. I'm just saying that's what the film looks like. Look at look at their faces. Oh my god. But Sometimes you get little rats. And what do I mean by that? Today, whilst I was having a number two at work and on the toilet, I was looking at my phone. Disgusting, I know. Disgusting. And what did I see? God damn this old hag. This witch of a creature in the United Kingdom has been lurking around the streets touching people's cars. Now, if she was touching people's, you know, genitals, you'd call her a paedophile. So why is it any different when it's your private property like a car? This person is an absolute degenerate, degenerate piece of trash. Now, we're going to watch the clip. Keep it in your pants, ladies and gentlemen. I know she's very attractive and she's got the hairline of an absolute tiger. <laughs> Oh. An absolute raucous, but anyway, p -p -p I must warn you, this is genuinely terrifying. So please, if you're scared, you have jump scares, you're known to have nightmares and long sleep, long days, nights without sleeping because things keep you up. This woman needs to moisturise, and the amount of wrinkles and crinkles you'll see on her forehead is enough to send you back to Vietnam. It's that traumatising. What are you doing? Leave. Go away. What are you doing? Go away. <laughs> You fucking Zimbabwe, you stupid little pen. Get away from here. Please. <laughs> what? Did you guys see that? That is nuts. That is wild. That is balls to the wall. Absolute proper. She goes off on one. She absolutely loses her wrinkles. And her eyebrows have just ran away off her face. Look at her. What are you doing? Oh, give me a phone, stupid little pimp. What does she mean by you stupid little pimp? Like, what the hell is this? So if you don't know, this is obviously a very English woman who is trying to do her duty as Kingsguard. She's protecting her home, protecting her street, even though she doesn't live there. I love this video, not because it's an old woman making it embarrassing herself, you know, really throwing something in the works there. However, I think it's just a brilliant clip. It's an absolutely fantastic depiction of what an old person can be like. We all know a couple of old hags, you know, usually your grandparents are the nice ones, aren't they? But unfortunately, Unfortunately, there is always a couple of couple of uh, ones in the works who are a bit dangerous, a bit aggy with it, you know. And unfortunately, they give the reps a bad name. It's like it's like Gen Zs, you know. You get the Gen Zs who are like degenerates and really annoying. Well, unfortunately, this woman right here is the same thing. Leave, go away. What are you doing? Go away. Away up fucking Zimbabwe, you stupid little pimp. Get away from here. Just imagine if you were the guy in the car, you could just hear him, he goes like, what? <laughs> he has no idea what he's just experienced and what he's been a part of. I mean, this is comedy gold. Look at her face, she's fuming. She's so pissed off. Just because this guy's parked here, probably waiting for his friend to get on the piss sand. You know what I mean? Women like this. Uh, well, it's old women like this that unfortunately give the old people a bad name. I, I still do. I love old people. I always try to smile at them. You know, you see that meme. It's like just to make sure they know you're one of the good ones. I do that in real life. I literally look at them and go, are oh, you right? You know, try to include them because I know they're all miserable, sad, lonely individuals. Hey, we are! You know, no one goes and sees them really except a couple people. And this woman has probably not been spoken to by her kids. Imagine if you were like her granddaughter or something like that, her grandchildren. And you're like, hold on, is that is gra Grammy? Granny, what, what are you doing? Granny, why are you trying to grab his mic? His phone, why are you doing, Granny? Oh my god, Granny! You know, you'd, <laughs> you'd be fuming. You'd be like, you're my... You're my relatives. Anyway, this is uh, shocking. I mean, an absolute disgrace to old people. Not They're not all like this, I promise you. I've met a few good ones. Unfortunately, she is not a goodie. I mean, look, let, let's look at old people. Oh, just look at, look at that guy. 
Oh my god. That guy looks like a trained killer. Oh, look at that guy. He's so happy. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Shake it all about. Oh, look at her. So sweet, so innocent. She would never run up to your car and, Oi, what the fuck are you doing? Get off me fucking street. Oh, see? Nice. Look at there. There's a group of oldies. Oh my god. Don't you just want to give them all a big squeeze and a big hug? Yes, except this one on the right. He's clearly a killer. Trained mercenary. Retired FBI agent who would kill you. Old people funny. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh, look at that, it's her. That woman from Blurry Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, she's smoking a bit of dope, eh? See, old people can be cool too. They're not all Tory bastards. Yeah, look at this one. She's absolutely sniffing gear off her rocker in the gear, mate. Sniff, whiff, diff. Even fucking handstands. That can't be real. No way. Look at her. A hundred, and she manages to smoke cigarettes, see? It's all media lies, you see. Cigarettes actually help you live to a hundred, I promise you. Look at her. She's like the pro. She's like old as fuck. She's a hundred and she smokes cigs. That must be true. You are a winner. Look at that. That's just classic grandma face pulling, isn't it? Turning right in five miles. Better signal now. <laughs> Get it? Because old people can't drive. That is one thing I will say. Old people cannot drive. They should not be allowed behind the wheel at all. Look at her. She's absolutely... Dr she's drinking Bud Light. What an absolute creature of the night. I suppose the point of the star station is, well, old people are lovely. But you do get a couple old people who are not great. And I think, unfortunately, they let down the whole team. So, uh, yeah. Here's to old people. I'm going to go drink some... Uh Drink a coffee in their name. Da, 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 da. Thanks for watching. I want to hear your opinion on all old people. Old people are great. Old people are kind. Old people make you laugh. And they also, more importantly, give you pocket money. So remember, make sure you're friendly with old people and keep them in your good books. And drink Bud Light. And buy them Bud Light.